What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Studio for another edition of UltraZilla Reviews! Woo! Today, we got uh, Ultimate Gypsy Danger on tap here. And uh, this is the final figure in NECA's Pacific Rimline. So, that's going bye-bye now, and we're all eagerly awaiting to hear what's next for Pacific Rim, because surely... This line, well, this brand is not going to die as far as action figures go. It's just too cool, too much material to still mine. And um, I think we're going to get a Tamashi Nations uh, line soon. Some sort of Bandai Pacific Rim line. We'll see what they do, but there's been hints at it for a while. I think it's going to happen. But how does this uh, NECA Pacific Rim Ultimate Gypsy Danger fail as we say goodbye to the line? Well, let's find out. So, first off... For comparison, we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla and the Creature Pleca, Creature Replica uh, Yeti. So you can see a little size variations there. And uh, we're going to take these two away now to focus on Gypsy here. And uh, he's pretty awesome uh, for the most part. You know, it's NECA, so he's going to have a few little problems. And no offense to NECA, I, I really like a lot of their products, but... They're, you know, they have some issues here and there. They, uh, as I always have said, um, this is one of the best companies as far as sculpts go and, uh, overall looks of the figures, but, you know, you, you kind of feel it on the QC end of things. A lot of the figures can't stand well and, um, you know, there's little imperfections here and there depending on the figure. Um, this figure stands okay, you know, so they recently redid the uh, hip joints to these figures and it looks like it holds them up a lot better. So that, that's, that's a good thing. Um, I'm really happy about that. So overall, this is uh, a new uh, sculpt from what I, I know of and uh, it, it looks pretty good, you know, it's, it's gypsy. There's like, you know, there's not that much difference between this and uh you know our last uh uh hong kong brawl gypsy which was a nice figure but he couldn't stand at all so um actually for all i know it might be the almost the same sculpt and uh you know with new hips um don't quote me on that i sold mine recently so i can't compare it at this point um uh, but i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be an all-new sculpt to uh send us off um and it's a nice one, like, it, it looks good. It's a really good gypsy, the paint is really nice. And somebody is flying down my block here, making all kinds of noise. Uh, so, that's okay. Uh, we'll continue. Um, this, you know, like I said, this looks great. It's a nice sculpt. I'll never fault uh, NECA for their sculpts. This stuff looks great. Look at that, look at that detail. Really awesome, for the price, for the price, this is, you know, they're always top notch. You know, this was $21.99. I got it from Dorkside toy Toys. But you could get it for the same price or thereabouts from, you know, most retailers. That's a great, great price. And, um, you know, so what else does this Gypsy have to offer, you know, that makes me say this is an amazing price? Well, the major, major thing here is this. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. It's an LED light. And that is amazing. Totally incredible. The fact that you could put an LED light and into a really well-sculpted 7, 7.5-inch seven figure here and still sell it for that price point, kudos. You know, like, for everything I've said bad, this is an amazing way to go. I feel like they're giving something back to all the fans that uh, went all in on this line. And I pretty much did save a few, you know, figures here and there. Like, I, I got a lot of them, you know, so. Very cool, very happy to have this. It looks great, you know, and that LED, wow. So one other thing, you know, real quick I want to mention with the LED is it also comes with this awesome effect part. So, which you, as you can see, it's uh, translucent. So you pop it in. To his chest there his reactor and it's a, a nice little blast there and uh yeah you could see right through it on the led uh, let's see cool right 
That looks awesome. Really dig that. I could do that for days, except I don't want to <laughs> kill the battery right away. Very nice. Great job there. This looks cool. Uh, I might actually display it with this on. We'll see. It's it, at first I didn't like care for this when I first heard about it, but you know since I have it, uh, it's really grown on me in the last few days. Really dig it. Uh, articulation. It's you know besides those you know better hip joints. It's pretty standard. There's nothing amazing here. I'd say his head is like the weakest point because I can't move it. And it's really hard to move inside this little uh, shell almost that they've made around his head. So that's a little bit of a bummer, you know. Otherwise, shoulders move good, elbows move good, hands, you know, move well. Um, balls and everything, so pretty good. You know, his foot has, you know, toe articulation, which helps. And again, he just stands better, which is all I ask, you know, like... Make my figure stand, NECA, and I'll be happy. Let me be able to pose this guy. So, very cool. I, I dig it. You know, articulation, it works. You know, LEDs are awesome. Uh, it also, in the box, came with these two blasters. You know, you could change out his whole forearm, stick these in. These also came with the Anchorage attack. Well, one of them did, Gypsy. Um, so now you get two of them, if you want. Um... So that really works out well. I won't be posing them. I still have my Anchorage attack, and I actually uh, will keep that one because it's actually a really cool uh, battle damaged figure. So, uh, yeah, but there you go. That came with two. Uh, it also comes with two swords, you know. Uh, they also really stay on well, though. Yeah, nothing great here, to tell you the truth. I'm just showing off one of like that, and also, you know regular two-fisted two fists <laughs> Sorry, a little again I'm just having a hard time focusing on that but yeah two fists all very nice you know uh, the one thing that like everybody is complaining about especially since it's a, an ultimate gypsy is um, there's no boat sword you know uh, a, a valid complaint the boat sword was like the coolest um, accessory uh, weapon that that Gypsy used in the movie, so but I kept mine, you know, um, from Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy. Uh, I sold mine without the the sword, and um, yeah, so I, I really wanted to keep it with this because you know I agree this is awesome and this is one of the coolest accessories. So he has a hard time like holding it a bit. Uh, there you go. That looks pretty awesome. So, this is an amazing, amazing piece, and um, definitely one I wanted to keep for this Gypsy, uh, knowing that it was coming out. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did, because it looks great, and he holds it well, and all that. Um, one last thing to note, when you switch out his arms here, um, be weary, there's, like, definitely some grease around the ball joint here. Uh, and, uh, I don't know if it's still there, but yeah, like... You know, I don't know if that's paint now at this point, but it was definitely grease. Or maybe it was paint the whole time. I'm not sure. I think it's grease around this to get these guys in better. I, you can probably see it actually in here too. See that? It's a little shiny. Yeah. So yeah, that comes off on your hands. Definitely wash your hands after playing with this. You never know. Um, but otherwise, it works out well. So... Ultimate Gypsy is a, an incredible figure for them to go out on. I think this is really great. Definitely worth the price. The LEDs are worth the entire package for sure. And uh, it's, it's really cool. Definitely recommend it. Um, definitely get it quick uh, because I have a feeling this figure, um, because of those LEDs, because it's the final one, maybe a figure that sells out quick at retail, at the retail level, and may hit the aftermarket sooner than we might think. Um, and maybe I'm wrong, but I just have a feeling just because of what it is and the fact that you could probably get away with selling it for more because of those LEDs and the Im improved like you know, structure of the figure, um, I just feel like it might sell out and might be more money for you guys. 
So definitely pick it up if you can, um, and uh, I think it's great. Check out my Facebook. It's, I'm going to have all the pics of this guy and my um, 